Miss Stanley, you have dragged your former fling, Mr. Williams, to court for a paternity test to prove he did not father your three-year-old son, Ryan Alexander. You admit to being intimate at the time of conception, but say today's results will prove your son does not have his DNA. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Williams, you say baby Ryan Alexander is the most important person in your life and claim the only reason Miss Stanley is doubting that Ryan Alexander is your son is because she has a new man in her life and doesn't want you around. Is that true? That's correct. You're here with your Aunt Mary, who says she has proof to show that Ryan Alexander is your biological child. So, Miss Stanley, were you in a relationship with Mr. Williams? Was this a committed relationship? This was more like a sexual type kind of relationship. It was a relationship. I never loved him. It was a mistake. No, you honor, excuse me. She's wrong without me, she's a liar. What, what, how did you see the relationship, Mr. Williams? Explain. We, she had us planned out getting married. She had us planned out to get the cakes. She had us planned out to get the, for, I was taking her kids back to school almost every day. I've done everything for her and them kids. And so you feel like you all were in a relationship. You were talking about marriage? Yes, ma'am. Picking out wedding cakes? Yes, ma'am. Is that true, Miss Stan? No, Your Honor, it is not. <laughs> yes, I that is true. Bruce. How no, long were you not. together in your estimation, Mr. Williams? We were together for about a year. For a year? Yes, ma'am. And you say you were planning to get married? Yes, ma'am. And I have proof of that, ma'am. I'd like to see that. Jerome, will you okay, hand me that this proof? This here is where she was <laughs> texting me off of Facebook, asked me if I was Chris's aunt and that they were gonna get married and she wanted me to do the wedding because I am a community chaplain. And I told her, <laughs> yeah, and she asked me how much would I charge. I told her nothing because it's my nephew. Let me and see that, she's ma'am. nothing but about wanting somebody to try to use. So this yes. is a message, a text <laughs> message <laughs> yes, from Miss Stanley? Yes, ma'am. That says, did you hear that me and Chris is gonna get married? Yes, ma'am. Is this a message you sent? No, Your Honor, it is not. Yes, ma'am, it is. You no, are... it is yes, not. Yes, ma'am, yes, it is. Oh, uh, well, then let's pull up my Facebook page and let her uh, look Well, then at let's it do that. Then well, let's, let's do let's that. Let's, let's do it. Let's yeah. do that. Yeah. Let Chris fight his own battles oh, oh, instead on. of letting you do it. No, how about that? It's none of your business. What's yeah. going on in the uh, courtroom? Yes, yes it, it is, is my because uh, that's my nephew and I raised him. I'm telling you right now. I don't care. If that was his son, just like him, out will it. Let's get some order. I understand you raised him as your son, you care about him, you love him, and you're here today, and everyone is going to get an opportunity to present their case and their side of the story. All right. So, Ms. Combs, you did say that at some point, Ms. Stanley told you he was the father of Ryan Alexander. Is that true? She's always told me since the boy was born that it was his. There was not a question that he belonged to somebody else. I have proof there again of both boys. This is Chris as a child and this is uh, her son as a child and they both look identical. So Let me see that evidence, please, ma'am. Chris came to me and asked me if I thought he belonged to him because everyone else kept saying it wasn't. And they, with the pictures, I said, yes, it does. I said, don't listen to everybody else because people are just going to say what they want to say. I said, but that boy belongs to you because he looks identical to Chris. And so this is a picture. On the left is Ryan Alexander. The, and yeah. then on the right is Mr. Williams as a child. Yes, ma'am. And you believe you see a strong resemblance? Uh, yes. I have another Facebook thing that she had texted me saying that he was the f that he was a good father. Let me to see his that son. evidence, Miss Combs. And so this is another message you say Miss Stanley sent you that reads, "He is really good with my kids, and Ryan loves his daddy." Correct. Miss Stanley, did you send Correct. this no, message? No, Your Honor, I did not. So, where do you think these messages are coming from? Maybe because uh, he had access to my cell phone. That didn't come from cell phone, baby dog. It came from the messages <laughs> that you sent me on Facebook, and it's even got the dates <laughs> on there. That exactly, it was access to my fa exactly he access know, to my Facebook, to which is downloaded on my phone. Yeah, okay, I'm sure. All right, Miss Stanley, 
Did you ever tell Mr. Williams that he is Ryan Alexander's father? Did you no. ever say that? No, Your Honor, I did not. Your Honor... How did he come to this conclusion? Because he is very, very excessive with me. He follows me everywhere. If I'm at a grocery store, he would follow me with me not even letting him have the knowledge of him knowing where I was at. He was there. So you feel like he wanted this child to be his, so yes. he just created that story? No, he no, kept you trying to But you do, you do admit that you were in a sexual relationship yes. with him. And, and was it during the time Ryan Alexander was conceived? Yes, ma'am, it was. Were you all using protection or no? No, Your Honor, we was not. Well, Miss Stanley, you do understand if you're having <laughs> sex with someone without protection during a window of when a child is conceived, he could be a potential father. You understand that, yes, right? He could be a potential father, but I do not think he is the father of my child. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So you're with the other man. How do you end up with Mr. Williams? We met at my cousin's place. We were living in a trailer where Mr. Williams would come and visit with me. At that time, that's when I conceived Ryan Alex, is when me and my ex was split up. I still had a relationship with him after I had got with Mr. Williams. So you were split and you were dating Mr. Williams, but you still were having sex with your ex? Yes. Okay. So, Mr. Williams... Were you there when Ryan Alexander was born? No, ma'am, I wasn't because for once she wouldn't even let she wouldn't even call me to let me know she was having an emergency section at the hospital. I didn't know nothing about it the next day. It's kind of hard to let you know anything, Mr. Williams. Whenever no, I, was no, it ain't too hard. I was put under sedation, I was put under sedation. You're wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I was get some mother. order. Let's not argue. Let's just get the facts. Did you not inform him on purpose? I did not inform him on purpose. You did. Because, and why didn't you want him there? Because I did not want him there because he is very disrespectful. He cusses me in front of my children while he's <laughs> holding our son in his arms. You don't cuss him in front of and the so, children, too? No, I sure so, don't. Me do. So you just said while he's holding our son in his arms. Yeah. So <laughs> are you saying yeah. now yeah. that Ryan Alexander is... No, he You're... is my son. When you said our, who were you referring to? Me and my exes. Okay. Your Honor, I have evidence right here that his name is not on his birth certificate. <clears throat> so this is a copy of Ryan Alexander's birth certificate, yes, Miss Stanley. You've presented this to show that Mr. Williams' name is not listed as father. That's correct. My ex's name is on his birth certificate. So, because you were confused about who was the father, you had slept with both men, you ultimately decided to put your ex's name? My ex had signed the birth certificate because Mr. Williams did not show at the hospital. So, if he had shown up, would if you he... have let Mr. Williams sign yes. it? Yes, I sure would have if... If he was, you know, if there was a DNA test to be proven that he was the father. He has been harassing my family for the last three years and I want it all to end. And I hope today that I get my results that I need for this all to just, to just go away. Clearly you were in a relationship with another man as well during that yes, time. Yes, Your Honor. Do you think he's the father? Yes, I do, Your Honor. You do? Yes, I do. Why do you believe that? because I had slept with him more than I slept with Mr. Williams. You're a liar. You're a straight, low-down liar. Don't so, wait a minute. Face. You feel like this man has a greater probability of being the father because you slept with him more often? Yes, Your Honor. Whoever she could be with <laughs> would give her whatever they could get, because she... Oh, so, now, Miss yes, Holmes, Miss Holmes, calm you down. Know. We're not gonna start arguing across the aisle anymore. I'm trying to understand from Miss Stanley. She's admitted that Mr. Williams is potentially a father, but she feels like this other man has a greater probability of being the father because you feel like you were more consistent with him in terms of a sexual relationship. But you do know it just takes once. Yes, Your Honor, okay. I didn't know that. So, 
Have you allowed Mr. Williams to be in his life at all? No, Your Honor, I have not. Um, Your Honor, excuse me. Yes, yes, she has to because I held my son all the time. I always kept my son because you can ask my cousin, her cousin, both. I kept them. I kept my but son. But the relationship stopped. Why they? Why she talking about The relationship running, stopped running whenever you time. started going out and going no, to stores no, and coming no, for money. No, no, no. Usually, well, wherever, usually, usually wherever you don't guy in New York. Make it have him to bail. All right, okay. calm down. That's why you did it, baby. Straight another man. You'll get a chance. So the animosity, the anger, is that you feel like you were there, Mr. Williams. Yes, ma'am. But she was off with someone else. Yes. And Miss Stanley, did you allow Mr. Williams to keep the baby sometimes? No, Your Honor, All I did not. Kids. So he's never, ever sat with Ryan Alexander no, he and not. watched him when you weren't not around. Not by himself, not for one well, point Well, it don't mean time. that he might not have been not by himself, but he's watching your kids and your son while you uh, was out running He never the watched. He never, never yes, ever he watched. Last no, morning, he did not. Your Honor, excuse me? So you're saying he didn't watch your children no. either? No, yes, Your I Honor, did. he did not. Yes, I did, Your Honor. I took good care of her kids while she was gone, out, out running up down the streets with my cousin and them. Everyone, her kids called me daddy every, every time. So you deny, Miss Stanley, that Mr. Williams has ever played a role in Ryan Alexander's life at all? That's correct. The other gentleman, the gentleman you believe is his father, the ex, has he played a role in Ryan Alexander's life? No, Your Honor, he has not. He has not? No. Who's stepping in now? And helping with Ryan Alexander and, My and, and boyfriend. being the father. My boyfriend. Your boyfriend is. I'd like to hear from you, sir. Will you stand? Please state your name. Anthony Jennings. Mr. Jennings, thank you for being here. So you have now stepped up and you are being a father, basically, to yeah. Ryan Alexander. Yeah, for the last two years. What do you know about the situation and whether or not there is truly a possibility that Mr. Williams could be Ryan Alexander's biological father. Well, I've been with her for two years. I ain't never heard nothing about that, but when the first three months we was together, we, I was at the store, he come by, see if he can go see Ryan. I was like, well, okay, well, I didn't know nothing about this, all right? I saw all that, yeah, go ahead. So when I come back home that day, she said that he had him in his hands, holding him at the, on the carport, cussing her and all that stuff when he had him in his hand. And I buy that kid clothes, I buy him diapers, I buy him wipes. I've been doing it for two years. I've learned him how to swim. I take him to the parks. I take him, I take him everywhere. That's my kid right there. I don't, give a, I don't care if it's my, it's my biological mind. I've been raising that kid. That kid's mine. I don't care. You feel like that's your son? Yeah. When he sees you, does he call you daddy? Yep. If Mr. Williams is determined to be his biological father, then he would, of course, have a right to be in this child's life. Yes, ma'am. You would still continue in your relationship with Miss Stanley. Yes, ma'am. And you still want to be a part of Ryan Alexander's oh, yeah. life, even if oh, it's yeah. determined Mr. Williams is, in fact, his biological father. Yeah. So, Mr. Williams, you say today truly means everything to you. Yes, ma'am. Because this little boy is very important to you. Yes, ma'am. He's three years old now, and it sounds like you've missed out on a lot of... His life. Yes, ma'am, because the mother took him from me and wouldn't even let me see him. How has this affected you? And it took affected me a lot. Every time I try to ask, like, do you know, do they even, you know, get to keep him? Or even get to come over and spend time with him? It's always the answer, no, you can't keep him. You can't, uh, you can't be around him. So what if the results don't go the way you want? What if, in fact, Mr. Williams is Ryan Alexander's biological father? He will have a legal right to see his child. I understand that, and I do not mind for that. Okay. I want it to be supervised if he is to have any contact with my son. Okay. Mr. Williams? Yes, ma'am? If you're deemed to be the father today, are you ready to step up? Are you ready to do what's necessary to raise this young boy? Yes, ma'am. To make sure he has a safe, happy, healthy upbringing? Yes, ma'am. And to help his mother? Yes, ma'am. Raise him? Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, I think it's time for the results. Jerome? You just chill. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Stanley versus Williams, when it comes to three-year-old Ryan Alexander Stanley,
It has been determined by this court. Mr. Williams, you are not his father. Thank you, Your Honor. I appreciate it, Your Honor. Thank you very much. I know that wasn't the news you wanted. But hey, it's okay. I can move on my life. I can do better. I can do better she could. I got a vehicle. You don't. That's not what you have that makes your life perfect. Whatever, Linda. I don't want to. Well, uh, a vehicle I, I doesn't make your life less. Let's, let's, stop, let's stop, stop arguing. The truth is the truth. The DNA has spoken. It is what it is. Ms. Gates, you claim that the day before your son's tragic death, he told you what you have always believed. He was not the biological father of the defendant's three-year-old daughter, Alexis, and 16-month-old son, Nicholas. You've petitioned the court for a DNA test to defend his honor. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Rimbold, you state the plaintiff's son, Nicholas Gates, is your children's father and say today's results will prove your case and clear your name. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Gates, why are you so positive your son is not the dad? I am here to represent my son, Nicholas, as... because he can't be here. I remember him telling me point blank the day before he passed away that he was not the father of Nicholas. But yet he told me differently right before he died. He had told me that he didn't care regardless, that he felt in his heart that... No, he He didn't. was the father of my child. And so you say that is not true, Ms. Gates. You say... Well, I don't know what he told her, but I know what I know and what I've been told, and that's what he told me. Tell and the I have court. to believe him. He's my son. You and your son were very close. You're very close. Yes, ma'am. And so you feel like when he told you that information, he really wanted to clear the air and let you know what he really felt deep down. I could tell he was being very honest. I could see the sadness in his face when he told me that. Also, Mr. Gates and I were also fighting at the time we had a rough relationship, so Mr. Gates was gonna say what he had to to his mom. What would he say to you? That he felt that this child was his, and even if the child was not his, Mr. Gates would still stepped up and he would have been a father. Of Mr. course Gates he would was step a good up. Father. He was a great father. He raised her daughter. She was pregnant when they met. So, of course, he would step up. And so, you're saying, Ms. Rimble, that he never doubted to you at all, or was there doubt? Yes, there was some doubt, Mr. Gates, with Alexis. If we would argue, he would say, go find your daughter's father. With Nicholas, I had found out I was pregnant, and he told me he would not be able to live with knowing I was pregnant with another man's baby. And then, right before Mr. Gates had passed away, Mr. Gates had told me that he felt in his heart that Nicholas was his child. It's not what he told me. The complete opposite the day before he passed away. Tell me exactly what he said. What happened He to him? said, that baby is not mine. And that's all he said. And, and he was just very distressed. And he meant Nicholas? Yes. What about Alexis? When Alexis was born, Your Honor, she was very dark-complected. And he had every doubt possible that she was not his due to the circumstances of them breaking up, getting back together, and involving other people in these matters, being with other people. Ms. Rimbold, were you all committed, exclusive? What, what was we... the nature of this relationship? When I first met Mr. Gates, he was in a relationship. I was engaged to get married to somebody else. The day we met, we just started off as friends, and that same night, Mr. Gates came back to my house and he moved in immediately. But I didn't expect me and Nick to move as fast as we did, and it did. And Ms. Gates, what was your first memory of Ms. Rimbold? The first thing I thought of, what is my son doing with her? She's just crazy. She's outgoing and everything. It I'm didn't... just outspoken. I'm very blunt, and I get to the point. It, she is. And she had a good job, and he really respected her. He fell in love with her, and he was very much in love with her and the kids. He was? Yes. I kind of felt like a mom figure to him. I was older than Nicholas, but... She's an older woman. Cougar. So how soon <laughs> after you and Mr. Gates started your relationship were you pregnant with Alexis? 
um, it was Alexis, that there was doubts. Might have Mr. Gates' relationship was very rocky. Mr. Gates would love the attention from other women, and mm -hmm. he thought he was slick and would always get caught <laughs> cheating. Cheating? You guys always cheated on each other. And so, Your Honor... Oh, really? Yes. I, so the cheating went both ways. Yes, as soon did. as they would break up, bam. Yes, it he would. He would be a chick magnet. She'd go find what other guy, you know, just to get back at each other. So, before Alexis was born, did you all have this phase of breaking up and cheating? Yeah. I know with Alexis, he was just not too sure that she was his because she was dark-complected, darker eyes... He's blonde hair. That's because my ex blue is eyes. Hispanic. So, of course. Okay. So, had you slept with that ex during this breakup Have thing? You? I sure did. Did you? Yes. You did. Yes, she did. If you did sleep with the ex during the breakup, why is it that you don't agree with the fact that there could be doubt? I mean, I, I don't blame you for having doubt. When Alexis was... We first found out I was pregnant with Alexis, again... Me and Mr. Gates were cheating on each other. And I had told him I was pregnant. And at first, he was like, is it mine? And I told him, I said, yes, it was. When Alexis was born, Nick kind of had a look on him. I was like, at the hospital, I'm like, what? And he's like, oh, him and his grandfather thought Alexis was dark. And I said, so what are you saying? You think that she's my ex? And, but, you know, Nick... Probably could have some doubt. Well, knowing you know, other I was men cheating. were involved, though, why wouldn't he have a doubt? So, Ms. Rimbold, you say based upon a timeline, you felt that Alexis was his child. Yes, Your Honor. How close to that timeline did you sleep with your ex? It was around the same time. But, it, oh, but yeah, Your Honor, gee, really? but Your Honor, it was protected, but the protection did break. Are you serious? I so, I didn't even know this. Ms. Rimble, you do understand that if the condom breaks, you've basically exposed yourself. I, I had also, Your Honor, I had ran into the other gentleman that could have possibly been Alexis's father. I showed the other gentleman the picture. He says, no. Why would he say yes? That's 18 years of child support for him. <laughs> Just saying. That is the moment that alleviated all question in your mind? No, the other guy I've, said no? I've had doubt. You know, when Ms., Mrs. Gates has made comments like, I just don't see Nicholas, I would then look at my daughter. Do you see her? I do. You do? Without I a don't. doubt. She looks just like her father. She's got his... No, she same doesn't. Blindness. But on one, in one breath, you say you've had doubts before. I even have. yourself. Yeah. Yep. So that then substantiates Mr. Gates' doubt? And the doubt he probably did, in fact, express to his mother before his passing. Right. But can you say for certain that you truly believe, if you've had doubt? In my heart, I'm 100% sure. Is there some doubt? Yes. And that's why I'm here today. I okay. want this to be her grandchild, and I want us to be able to get closer. I've lost everything. He used to take care of the kids, and I worked. I've had a move since the passing. I lost everything. So today's results truly mean everything to you because having that clarity will hopefully encourage Ms. Gates to help with the children. I want her to feel that same bond with Alexis. And I want especially. to. I want, I want him especially to carry his dad's last name. And you'd like to get proud. his name. I want his name changed to his father's, and I need that. What was the nature of the relationship at the time you got pregnant with Nicholas? We had a lot of trust issues, a lot of problems up and down in our relationship. I did start just hanging out with another gentleman, and he was staying the night pretty much in my home a lot to the point where I would even have Mr. Gates and the other man that I was having sexual intercourse with both staying in the same house together. Really? My son loved her so much that he would watch the kids knowing she'd be going out with this man. 
That's how much he loved her and loved those kids. But, and it killed him. So you moved this guy into the house with you and Mr. Gates? Yes, Your Honor. And for what, re what, what reason did you have? Because I couldn't at that time. I wasn't going to make a decision, and I was hurt by everything Nick had put me through. And they stayed? And they both stayed. Okay, and so which <laughs> one were you intimate with during this time? Both of them, Your Honor. Both men? Both men. Not at the same time, right? Same day, Your Honor. Same day? Yes, Your Honor. Now you have a child. Yes. And you named him after Nicholas, but he may not be his. At the time, Your Honor, when I found out I was pregnant with Nicholas, I had two names picked out. I told myself when I would deliver Nicholas that I would know in my heart when I looked at him who the father would be. And so when Nicholas was born, you looked at the baby and you said, That's this Nick. is Nicholas's. That's Nicholas's. Nicholas has blonde hair, bright blue eyes, and he came out looking just like his father. They both had uh, hazel. On. He Come on. Nicholas he just Jr. like his father. Nicholas Jr. has hazel eyes. Like That's his me. sister Lexi. That's me. I have hazel colored eyes. But his traits are very strong, Your Honor. His dad was blonde hair, blue eyed. Nick was blonde hair, blue eyed. My mother, blonde hair and blue eyes. But, My and so, Ms. Gates, you submitted a graphic to the court that helps our There outline. you go, right there. What you're basically trying to get at is that... They all blonde They hair, all blue are eyes. blonde hair, blue And you say these children possess very different physical attributes. Well, yes, we have Alexis here. She's dark complected. She has hazel eyes, dark hair. And I have hazel eyes and dark hair. What if they are not Nicholas's biological children? I would be or devastated. even one? I would be devastated. I'd probably faint on this floor. I probably would. You feel like this is your only chance that your children having a father, even though he's passed on, they would have a father that wanted them and loved them. Yes, Your Honor. I understand. Jerome, I think we're ready for the results. We have two sets of results. The first set is for Alexis. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Because there wasn't a blood card available to test the DNA of the deceased Nicholas Gates, we performed a DNA test with his surviving parent, Robin Gates. The results are as follows. In the case of Gates versus Remble, when it comes to three-year-old Alexis Gates, it has been determined by this court the percentage of relatedness between Ms. Robin Gates and Alexis Gates is 98.6%. Wow, that makes me so happy. <laughs> That's great. It does. Yes, ma'am. That's wonderful. I have the second result, and this result is for baby Nicholas. And right before your son passed away, he expressed doubt. Yes, ma'am. Again, we performed a DNA test with his surviving parent, Robin Gates. With that being said, the results determine if there is a viable relationship between the child, Nicholas Rimbold, and Robin Gates. The results are as follows. I have never received a report with a result like this. Is that good or bad, Your Honor? For clarification, I want to find out. I'd like to get Dr. Baird on from DNA Diagnostics. I want to talk to him. He is the chief science officer of the laboratory. I've never seen a result read like this. Hello, Dr. Baird, are you there? I am here, Judge. Glad to help. Thank you so much for jumping on the line and taking this call. We're here in the case of Gates versus Rimbold, and I have never received results like this. I'd like to read them to you. 
In the case of Gates versus Rimbold, when it comes to 16-month-old Nicholas Rimbold, it has been determined by this court the percentage of relatedness between Ms. Robin Gates and Nicholas Rimbold is 64.6%. What does that mean exactly, sir? Yeah, what does that mean? Well, this is basically an inconclusive result. So as a result, we did some additional testing. We then compared Alexis and Nicholas to see whether they were full or half siblings. And the results of that siblingship test showed with a 99.99995% likelihood that Alexis and Nicholas do indeed share the same biological father. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Well, woo-wee. I was holding my breath when he was talking <laughs> because you all don't know, I don't know the results either. But I've sat in this courtroom and watched you both talk so beautifully about Nicholas and his beautiful spirit. And I have to say, Ms. Gates, spending this time with you, I know where he gets it from.